and welcome to Paper Crafting with Angelina. I'm glad you decided to join me today. I hope you enjoy this video. Today I'm going to show you how I put together this little note card. Um, I'm continuing my little theme with the baby cards since I do have quite a few that I need to get sent out. So I'll just show you real quickly how I put this together. I'll show you how I watercolored the little whale on here. Um, and so let's head over to my workbench and get started. Okay, so here we are at my workbench, and we're going to go ahead and create this card. And uh, let's let me show you every. I've got everything out that I used to make this card. So we'll just get started by showing you that. Okay, so the card is four and a quarter by three and one eighth. So I have here cut out the card base, which is a piece of Daisy White, and again, three and one eighths, and this is by eight and a half. I've scored it at the four and a quarter, and then we'll get that folded, and we'll set that aside. This is gonna be the base for our card. Now, the little whale, I stamped with a Memento ink onto a piece of watercolor paper. And the watercolor paper, let me get in here tight, has two sides. One is a little rough and the other one's smooth. And when I'm gonna stamp, I like to use the smoother side. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna be using this stamp set up right here. And this is New Baby. And you've seen this in some other videos that I've done, but I'm gonna go ahead and use several of the stamps from this set. So we're gonna start by inking up the whale, again with the Memento Black ink. And I'm just using a small scrap no sense in cutting it because uh, in a you know particular dimension since I am going to be fussy cutting this out. There we go. Okay, so I used our watercolor pencils, and I'm going to be using the on the whale. I'll be using the Dutch blue and the crystal blue, and I'll start out with the lighter. And I'm just going to put the color in kind of all over. This is just how I do it. No rights or wrongs. Just fill in. Now with the darker blue, I'm going to add that into the areas that I want to appear darker. Um, so the bottom of the whale, under his mouth, around the tail. So I'll go ahead and do that now. So that's where I'm going to start off at. Now what I usually do is I fill myself up a shot glass. Well, I don't fill it up. I just put a little bit of tequila in there. Oops, I mean water. And then I get my little brush here and I dip it in there. Get it nice and wet. And then just start swirling it around here and moving the color around. Hopefully I've given this enough time for the uh, ink the black ink to set and it's okay to get it nice and wet that helps move the colors around That's pretty much it. That's all I really do. Now, if I wanted to add a little more color to that, then I found that it works better if I take a heat gun to it and dry it completely and then come back in with my pencils. If I try to do it when it's wet, it doesn't seem to work that well for me. So I'm going to set this aside to dry. And next what I did was I took a, let's see, let's see. What does this measure? 
three and one eighth by two and three quarters piece of the candy cane, or excuse me, the cotton candy. And I'm gonna stamp it in the same color ink and I'm gonna just create a little background. So we're just gonna take this little starfish from the same stamp set and I'm just gonna randomly stamp it around here just so that we have a fun little background. Make sure I'm going off and making the little starfish slightly askew in different places. And there we go. So I'm gonna set this aside. Now I took a small piece of pear and I ran it through an, uh, my Big Shot with the Sizzix uh, embossing folder. I bought this years ago and I have no idea which one it is, but I just wanted to give this a little texture. So that's gonna be mounted on the card. Now I took my, my Cricut cartridge and I cut out this shape and I used the Artiste cartridge and I cut this shape from page 61, and it's right here, the accent three. So I cut this shape and I cut it at two and a half. And this is gonna create that little border that's on the card. It's just around here. Okay. Next, I am going to stamp the sentiment onto the bottom of this. Set that aside so it can dry. I'm gonna go ahead and take this little guy, the, the card, and with my buttercup, I'm gonna stamp the sunshine. And it's got the little happy face, so I wanna make sure my happy face is on there. Shining down on the whale. There he is. I'm going to set that to the side to dry, and then I'm going to be coloring it with this pencil right here, which is the sunny yellow, just to fill that in and make the sun pop a little more. Oh, I've got to fussy cut this little guy out. So I am probably going to fast forward this because that's going to take a bit of time to do. I am waiting for my brother scan and cut. It should be coming in today, and that is gonna make that type of a job so much easier. Okay, so this little guy is going to go mounted on here, and he's gonna be popped up on 3D foam tape. I'm gonna start off by attaching these two panels to my card. Okay, so the tricky part here is, as you can see, I've got the spout coming out on the actual card base here. So I've got to figure out how we're going to get that on here. So this is going to go here. This little guy is going to go here. So the spout needs to go about here. So it's real important that I get it lined up there. So I'm going to use a piece of scrap paper to mask that off. I'm only going to ink up the spout or, and just a little bit of his head for the aligning. And again, I'm going to figure out where we wanted him because we want him in the center. He's going to go about there. So I'm going to take this and go straight up to right there. Okay, now we've got to get the whale spout onto this piece. Again, let's line everything up so I have a good idea where he's going. He 
He's going to go right about there. Ink this up. So I'm putting a little bit of 3D foam tape on there. And this gives me a good eye to line everything up since I did get him on there. There we go. See, all covered up. Yippee. Okay, um, so now we're ready to attach this to the card. And um, I did that also with a little bit of 3D foam tape. So we're going to just put a couple little strips on here. Again, lining the water spout up. That looks good to me. Okay, so on my stamp, I'm missing a couple of dots. I don't know what I did. <laughs> so I've got to use a little Sharpie pen to draw those in and complete that. And there we go. And it looks like I didn't stamp very hard on a couple of these, so just go back, color those in. Love it. Okay, the last thing we need to do is just color in my sunshine. And that's really easy to do. Just don't have to be precise at all on that. Okay, so I did that, and I'm going to be using a blender pen just to kind of blend that in. And you can use this with the watercolor pencils. It works really good to move that ink around. And the last thing I'm going to do is just add a little bit of rosiness for his cheeks. His or her. touch. And there you have it. Well, I hope you liked this tutorial. Um, quick and simple, nice and easy. Do some water coloring um, with the pencils and have some fun with that. Uh, I, just, I think this was a good example of how you can go in there, make a few mistakes, and fix them really easily. Now this one came out a little more blue. This one's a little more washed out. I have two options. I can go in there and color it up again. I won't ruin the card. Um, or I can just leave it the way it is. Uh, so thank you very much for stopping by. If you'd like to see more details about this, please stop over at my blog at papercraftingwithangelina.blogspot.com. And as always, I appreciate your comments, your support, your likes. Uh, you can also find me on Facebook, uh, Paper Crafting with Angelina. In the meantime, happy paper crafting. Bye-bye.